Okay, so I almost fell. This is another what I wore, and it's styling a suit. And yeah, check it out, check it out, check it out. All right, so basically, all of this stuff is from Goodwill. Again, holla at Goodwill if you want them key key pieces for your wardrobe they have literally everything there they need to give me a sponsorship already like i know i don't have a lot of followers but i'm looking for that video to give me a pay sponsorship so i can go shopping and you may get some money make some money from it so yeah but yeah that's like something that i want i've been wanting that for a minute but yeah so this shirt is a women's button up that I kind of wrapped around and tucked into these pants. This suit didn't come all together. I mixed and matched. Um, these green pants go with that olive green um, blazer. That was in my other styling tip video that's recent, which was styling up sweatshirts. But this wool, um, like very boxy and you know clean cut blazer is from goodwill as well everything's from goodwill except for jewelry it's from h&m y'all know that already if y'all see my other videos it's really old it's not online anymore y'all can't find it anymore unless they resell it or do a different version of it but i haven't seen it on h&m recently so yeah or in any of the stores these earrings are from beauty deep pot these net these bangles are from is fast and metro and these shoes are from goodwill as well just something simple um nothing too you know over the top but yeah, it has a little blue suede in, in the front part of it so i thought that'd be a nice touch with this um button up all right second look coming soon All right, so this is the second look. Uh, still a suit. I tried to layer it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, the suit is from Goodwill. This all red suit, very vibrant and classic. It looks so good on my size 10 body. But of course, when I'm smaller, these pants are very like almost, it's a lot of wrong, a lot of gaping wrong. So I'm probably gonna have to either get these taken in or not, it's probably not. Or maybe get a, take them in myself, I don't know. By taking it at the waist, it still could be fine. But yeah, this Bad Decisions t-shirt is from Goodwill as well. So it has a skull on it, it says Bad Decisions. It's tie-dye, really cute for like summer and winter. This Teddy hoodie, it's from It's Fashion Metro. This sweatshirt, very vintage. I worn it in my styling joggers. How to style jogger styling tip. It's from Goodwill. And these shoes are from It's Fashion Metro. Peep the shoe. Ugh. All right. So that was the second look. Got this, the other third one coming. Coming at you right now. All right, y'all, so this is the third look, and excuse my little afro, but yeah, this is the third look. I uh, hope y'all like this, too, and yeah, let's give you the rundown. So, these pumas I wore in a in a last my last video, these liquid leggings, I'm surprised they fit, honey, like, my last... <laughs> I haven't had, these not really look, they're like, they're pleather pants, or leather pants. I don't know if they were or not. <laughs> but, I got them from the thrift store, and they're super, super skinty. Like, really, really small in the legs. So, I was like, let me see if I can fit these now. And I can fit them, just because they're you know, a little stretchy on them. But, they cute. Uh, these Nationals, this Nationals baseball adidas shirt was from goodwill it's from goodwill not goodwill but i got it from the last thrift with me video that i made y'all check that out check that out check that out this is from north raleigh's ministries thrift store 
Um, this is my favorite blazer. It reminds me of Aria or um, like it reminds me of the Aria blazers that came out I think last summer. But they have more of a diamond encrusted like fringe to it. This is more beaded. But this kind of reminds me of like a 90s, what's his name? Anais, Anais, something. I forgot his name. But it kind of reminds me of his like aesthetic of design too. He's like sleek and sexy and he would probably do this with like a cute pant. Like maybe this pant, maybe a more fitted like pant. And then maybe with nothing underneath of it or something like silk and like very sexy low cut um and a sandal heel and i have one i just wanted to throw on a sneaker a sandal heel probably would have took this from day to night if you want to do that but yeah these hoops are from beauty deep pot and this this is yasa a uh, motorcycle jacket I got from Goodwill. So yeah, that's the whole look. You know, you know, it's cute. It's not too much of a suit. I don't have any other suits but those other two, but I wanted to do styling up a suit. And you can just say this came together. This is a whole suit, these pants and this little suited jacket, whatever. But yeah, um, oh, these pants almost ripped. <laughs> My pants almost ripped. Let me take these off. But no, I want to talk about, I want to talk about the looks that I create today. So, um, when you're doing, what was the first look? It was all olive green. I wanted to make that more like of a classic kind of womanly, very like shapely, um, kind of high fashion, kind of gaudy look. Something very, you know, chic and uh, maybe could be on the runway. And yeah, it has statement jewelry. It's, it's a lot of gold jewelry to it, especially with the the door knocking earrings, the round door knocking earrings, the bohemian kind of like gaudy necklace, the bangles, uh, the wrapped, the wrap shirt that I made into a wrap shirt. It's actually a regular button up, but I made it into a wrap shirt. Blade that went underneath the blade, underneath the suit. It's cute. And I love that I put like a waist belt around it. Not many people wear waist belts anymore for real, for real. So I feel like that was like a nod to maybe the 80s or something. But like keeping it cute. And I guess you can say dichotomy again. But it's like dichotomy is basically when you're mixing different styles of clothing and putting it together so the this belt was 80s the shoes were 80s it has like a low kitten heel 80s 70s um the whole suit was 90s late 80s early 90s the wrap shirt is very like 60s 70s 70s i'm gonna say 70s because that's when the wrap dress came out with by diane by diane um the sorry <laughs> the bohemian like gaudy necklace was kind of bohemian i put that with more bohemian like looks like more floral pieces or like something kind of streamlined or cut has cutouts or something like very different but I feel like that piece is, is like a, a great statement piece it jazzes up almost any look so well every look so I try to put that with things that are kind of more simple that I wear 
But yeah, the second look was more kind of street chic, um, especially with the hoodie, the teddy hoodie and the bomber jacket. Um, the t-shirt too, the tie-dye t-shirt kind of made it a little summery, but I feel like those colors were muted. So it kind of works together. The pop of red was like everything. And then the boots, the cutout boot, you know, something cute. I don't know if you want to have your toes out in the winter, especially depending on where you live at. But here where I stay, it's not bad that bad here in December, at least during the day when the sun is out. So it's not that bad to wear that. Uh, but some people like being naked at night too in the winter. So I guess you can wear a sock boot. It's fine. Um, the second look, this look, all black. Of course, it's not necessarily the classic suit like the first two were, but it still works. And yeah, that is my looks for the day. I need to pick this out more. I'll look for the day. My three suits for today. Hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments which look was your favorite. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let your girl know, you know, if you even still wear suits. You know, what kind of suits do you wear? You know what I'm saying? How do you dress up a suit? And yeah. Peace and love. We out. Later.